Hello, my name is Corey Recco, author and historian. I'd like to talk about two misidentified historical photographs. These two images, said to show a young Billy the Kid, were part of a photo album passed down through a family in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The claim is that the family befriended Catherine McCarty when she and her two sons, Henry, well, Billy's name at the time, and Joseph, were living in Philadelphia. Yes, Philadelphia. This would account for some of the years we can't quite trace the McCarty family. There's no family documentation or evidence at all except supposed word-of-mouth stories now just being told by one person in the family and her husband, with the originators of the story being dead, to back up this claim. But what they do have is an entry for a Catherine McCarty in Philadelphia directories. She was a seamstress, widow of Charles, and lived near the family in the 1860s, first on Phillips Street, then on Baker Street. The problem is, she doesn't disappear after 1867. In 1870, she's still at 719 Baker, although now she's listed as a grocer. In 1875, she moves to 815 Marriott, Catherine McCarty, widow Charles. And in case someone be thinking, well, maybe this is a different Catherine McCarty who also happened to be the widow of a Charles, here's her entry in 1878 still 815 Marriott Street, where she's a grocer. Now, the Catherine McCarty who gave birth to Billy the Kid died in 1874 in Silver City, New Mexico, ruling out any possibility that she is this Catherine McCarty. And right there, the claim that this photo shows Billy the Kid falls like a house of cards. I could stop there now that we know there's no known connection between this family and Billy the Kid or his mother. But like all these questionable photo claims with very questionable or non-existent provenance, the owner also employed some so-called facial recognition experts. So let's take a look at the work they've done. I'll start with the work of Kent Gibson. Anyone who's watched my videos, read my articles on photos, or has paid any attention to the news of supposed photos of historical people coming out over the past few years, you've heard his name. He was behind this big miss, claiming to identify Amelia Earhart and her navigator, Fred Noonan, in a photo that was taken before the two even met. And in this photo, he claimed to identify Doc Holliday, Morgan Earp, and others. In a photo taken in Arizona, by a photographer who didn't arrive in Arizona until after Holiday left for Colorado and after Earp was dead. What Gibson does is run photos through commercially available facial recognition programs and combines the scores into something he calls the Gibson likeness score. His threshold for what he considers a match changes from photo to photo and report to report depending on how well the photo is scored. I've seen him use as low as 40% to declare a match, and sometimes he says 70s, or somewhere in the 70s is the floor. For comparison, Amazon Recognition, an industry leader, and one of the programs Gibson uses, recommends using a 99.9% threshold for important identifications. I tested Amazon Recognition by writing some known photos against photos of that same person, to see how well they scored. Here we can see Pat Garrett against another photo of Pat Garrett getting a 99.9 .9 score. Same with these photos of Garrett. Here is two photos of William Peterson who played Pat Garrett in Young Guns 2. 99.8. Chris Christofferson who once played Billy the Kid 99.9. And here's True West editor Bob Bosbell being compared to a, let's say, slightly younger version of himself. 99.9%. Okay, the software is working pretty good. 
Now, for fun, let's look at Bob compared to Billy the Kid. It says not a match, the actual score being 53%. Now let's run this alleged Billy the Kid against the authenticated picture of Billy the Kid. Again, not a match. In this case, it scored 47%, or six percentage points lower than Bob Bose Bell gets against Billy the Kid. For his part, when comparing these two photos, Gibson came up with a score of 74% similarity, which he called to be in the zone of authentication. So, even he's not saying it is Billy. The good news is that if you don't trust Gibson, the owner of the photo brought in someone else. Not so much an expert as more of a Photoshop enthusiast, James Brake's method is to put the images in Photoshop and compare them using techniques like this overlay. Of course, overlays have also been used to show that Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus are the same person, so they have that going for them. But James Brake brings more to the table than just overlays. He also has, depending on your point of view, either an uncanny ability to see things in photographs that others miss, or an imagination that causes him to connect shapes and the damage and scratches on tintypes and turn them into signatures and other things the way people see animals in the clouds. Looking at some of his past work, for example, in the iconic tintype, the only known image of Billy the Kid, Brake claims to have found the name Billy embroidered on Billy's scarf. And in Billy's hand, he claims one of those fingers is actually a cigar that Billy's holding. In this thoroughly debunked photograph, he claims to have found writing scratched on the surface of the tintype. There is one slight problem with it. Brake did it using a very blown up version of the tintype. When set back down to its original size, the signatures are very, very small. For example, the area where it supposedly says Pat Garrett on the surface of this tintype is a 0 0.62 centimeters. Extremely small area to be scratching your name on the surface of tin. So James has taken these skills and discovered what he and the owner believe is Billy's name scratched in the bottom left-hand corner of the tintype. I'll let you have a look. Now, if you don't believe the writing is there, don't believe this overlay proves the man in the photo is Billy, don't believe the work of the facial recognition expert with this track record, and with connection to the McCarty family now being non-existent, that leaves us with no evidence that Billy the Kid is in this photograph. More than likely, these are two young boys who are part of the family this album was passed down in. My name is Corey Recco. I'm the author of articles for magazines, websites, historical journals, and four books.